Um, hello everyone, it's my honor to speak here. The title is Digital Representation of Tulum Communities Culture in Gongshan County, China. Let's see the abstract. Before 1999, the Tulum community, China's most secluded ethnic minority, remained inaccessible and underdeveloped. The Tulum River region, the sole minority area, unreachable by road, endured prolonged isolation. Nevertheless, unique cultural heritages, the Dulong community faces the cultural extinction and sanitization threats. Psychologist Mary Ebian asserts that 93% of the communication impact is nonverbal. So emoji as nonverbal cues that belong to the verbal communication system gain immense popularity on a global scale. This study explored the imperative need of the Dulong community on its culturally specific emoji set through semi-structured interviews. The first of its kind, the emoji set features culturally specific elements like the Dulong uh, blanket and the Solacho ritual. In Navarino's perception, emoji is picture real nature, facilitates effortless cultural knowledge acquisition, and its property of shuttling through cyberspace contributes to a better cultural sustainability and dissemination in this digital world. Firstly, as we can see the introduction, uh, cultural extinction and the uh, Dulong community. So what is cultural extinction? According to the Philip in 2019, cultural extinction as the fragmentation of one's highly esteemed cultural character 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 characteristics. And then what is the and then let's see according to the interview data we can see that the data reward that many um, cultural aspects of the Dulo community are facing this disappearance, disappearance and um, disintegration. And then on the national policy, uh, on a global scale, we can see that the cultural preservation often lacks pri prioritization coming after development projects and underdeveloped countries with rich cultural resources struggle to meet preservation standards. So that's why this is a global issue. And then as we can see the nonverbal communication and emojis. The role of nonverbal communication is of great importance. Once Piaget asserts that 6% of knowledge is learned visually highlighting the importance of visual communication. So emoji as a fusion of social media and nonverbal communication enhance the human communication. And then there's a proof, it goes like, a picture is worth a thousand words. And then this study focused on the Dulong culture, um, mainly just visualizing cultural, culturally specific elements the elements such as um, eating habits, you know, the um, dietary things and uh, symbols or the human activities can just help improve the, you know, uh, in-group in communication, uh, you know, improve the um, convenience with the Dulong group. And then we can, as we can see the next part is the object. Why they study they choose the Dulong community? Firstly, because of its specific geography and uh, location. As we can see, the um, Dulong River Township is located at the border of China and Myanmar. And then it has such a special terrain. The east bank of the Dulong River is Goligo Mountain, which is uh, uh, 4,000 high mountain and on the west bank of the Dulong River is the Danalika mountain. So, theory the terrain is like uh, 
the Dolong River sandwiched by you know two mountains. So the Dolong people just you know isolated from the outside world for a long time in the history. Yeah. And then as we can see the population, the people in the Dolong community is such sparse. As we can see there's only six thousand and four hundred and sixty people in the Tulum community. Yeah, so it's you know such small, you know, you know few vehicle. People means cultural vehicle. Yeah. So um you no know, after you know and then you know uh, as I previously mentioned but the people is just hard to contact with the outside world. So the Chinese Republic government just uh, uh, plan to construct the uh, Tulong River Highway and the uh, tunnel to help the Tulong people contact with the outside world. And then after the uh, construction down, the people finally can just you know open the door to the outside world can you know finally improve their life level yeah and then as we can see the literature review uh, the impact of the transportation uh, change I previously mentioned it brings the great asymmetry the tra transportation improvement opened the Dulong River region to external uh, cultural influences. And then influx of the cultural ideas from the outside world disrupted the traditional Dulong production life and Asian traditions. For, for example, as we can see the uh, traditional agriculture in the Dulong community, which is the Sweden agriculture. Um, the Sweden agriculture is, you know, was used by the Dulong community for a long time in a history course, but uh, it, it is seen as economically unsustainable and environmentally destructive. So the Sweden agriculture is forbidden by the government. The people cannot use anymore. So, uh, so here comes to the SLCP, um, SLCP program, uh, which means you know, for, for big people to do this within agriculture. It leads to a variety of crops, a variety of um, you know, things people used to eat, cannot be, you know, cannot eat anymore now. So it changed the connection between people and environment, and it also changed the you know um, dietary culture of the Dulong community. Yeah, and uh, uh, during the interview data, the elders expressed the concern over the younger generation's lack of knowledge about uh, traditional foods and agriculture. The knowledge may be lost with passing of older generations. And then, uh, as I earlier mentioned, the small population size also challenges the cultural transmission. And then let's see the data collection. Uh, this study used the uh, inside semi-structured interviews with both uh, closed and open-ended questions. And this study engaged 14 uh, Dulong Abrinos um, in order to, you know, in order to, in order to have the most beneficial uh, findings, these the interviews just prioritize to recruit those uh, prestigious Abrinos and those uh, government officials who tend to own or you know, possess the much richer knowledge than the average abrinos yes and then as we can see this is the demographic information of all the 14 participants uh, it involves name age education and job and then as we can see the 
uh, finding. So uh, the findings of the research question, why is the creation of the new emoji for the Dulong community culture important? So why the new emoji is important? This research question is um, consists of two dimensions like so it comes like the one why preserving the long culture is important secondly why using emojis this vehicle is important so as we can see because of one uh, cultural erosion because the Dulong cultures are fading away uh, as we can see according to the findings the interview findings we can see the uh, gradual disappearance of cultural elements such as traditional customs uh, language and dietary practices and also the uh, transformation and you know the distortion of the Kachua festival which is the most uh, significant and huge festival in within the uh, Dulong uh, community annually but um, currently it just loses the traditional stamps and incorporating with you know modern elements like rocks or something yeah so then as we can see uh, why preserve preserving co Dulong culture is important on the other hand, uh, because there are a variety of reasons made the Dulong, Dulong culture bring away. The one is synthesization. Synthesization, it means the outside uh, mindset and the outside behaviors deeply influence the people, the Dulong people, made them change their own behavior and mindset. And then in the limited economic returns, the people who you know learn or you know who learn or you know or, you know pass down the uh, Dulon culture can cannot support their family. You know they they learn their own culture but cannot you know have enough returns, economic returns to support their family. So that's why people tend to you know. Uh, no more uh, learn their own culture anymore and then is the uh, political interventions as i pre previously mentioned the slcp uh, policy which made the agriculture uh, you know uh, transformed from the sweden agriculture to the modern normal agriculture and made the Dunlop community lost their own uh, dietary culture. And then let's see the attitude toward their own culture. The, the people, why preserving, let's see the first dimension, why preserving Dunlop culture is important? Because people tend to express the strong sense of cultural value and nostalgia. They tend to say that, oh, when I was a kid, oh, I I used to play this kind of thing, but now I cannot see it anymore. I used to, um, I mean, there's an official during the uh, interview period. He told me uh, in when he was a kid, he used to always eat the you know, finger millet, which is the uh, which is a crop, uh, you know, made by the Sweden agriculture, but it cannot be seen anymore because it's the Sweden agriculture is forbidden by the uh, government. So they are quite nostalgic, and then the let's see the attitude toward the culturally specific emojis. The people, according to the findings. The people, uh, according to find findings, the overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly support from the Dulong uh, community. Yeah, we can see the overwhelmingly support of the Dulong cultural specific emojis, and then people tend to, uh, you know, predict the uh, future benefits bring brought by the emojis including the uh, cultural preservation in digital ways 
or enhance the uh, convenience of local online communication and then like the emojis um, have the uh, you know function like the advertising can just help the people from outside world know the uh, know their culture and it can, it can also you can you know serve as a better global stage to help the help them explore their culture globally and then maybe attract more tour, tourism here to boost local economy you know that's why the people just predict so many benefits uh, so yeah they expected the cultural specific emoji yeah and then let's see this is a significance and attitude toward the culturally specific emojis. Then as we can see the findings, this study gained is uh, consistent with this talk in 2022. Emojis can foster favorable impressions and support tourism marketing. Yes, because emojis uh, which can which emoji can you know shuttling uh, through the cyberspace and people around the world can know uh, what is the known community, uh, how magnificent their cultures are, so they can come here and visit it and maybe can bring the you know uh, make make local you know economic growth, yeah. So as we can see here with the uh, emojis initially designed for the Dulong community. Let's see the first one is designed for the men's and women's um, costumes. Uh, yes, we, as you can see, the uh, Dulong blanket always with uh, colorful uh, strips. Yeah, and um, as we can see the uh, second one, the second one uh, is designed for the Tulum Solatio Ritual. The Solatio Ritual is combined with uh, definition. What is definition? The people, uh, the Tulum people used to use the uh, balls for definition props. Uh, when the people have finished reciting their prayers, they tend to throw their ball to the sky and the people the Dulong people believe that if the mouth of the ball is fastened to the ground, then it means bad luck. If the mouth of the uh, ball is facing the sky, then it means they will have a good life, they will keep safe this year. And then uh, let's see the conclusion. In the conclusion, um, this study um, had tentatively Design two Dulong cultural uh, specifically uh, Dulong cultural specific emojis, and then they study. Uh, this is the first trail in the design industry. You know, just design emojis for the Dulong community, and then they study just also uh, identify the attitude of the uh, Dulong Aboriginals. Um, it, it is also can be said that this study identified if the culturally specific emoji is feasible within the Dulong community to do the uh, digital sustainability and dissemination. So finally the findings told us that for the Dulong community the Culturally specific emoji is feasible and viable, you know, to do the better cultural dissemination and sustainability. And uh, for the future work, this study recommend that um, the uh, the more culturally specific emoji should be created and designed for the Dulong community, and uh, more, um, you know. Uh, precious cultural elements and more ethnicities and nationalities just as highlighted at Kimura Slender and Kumar in 2014. They, they also suggested that the more 
nationalities and uh, ethnic cities should find their own cultural rep representations online. Yeah, that's all. Thank you for your listening.